Mathematics class for second standard. Today's topic is subtraction. Today we will learn about subtraction two digit numbers without borrowing and solve the problems related to daily life. Children, in the previous class we learnt about addition. In this class we will learn about subtraction. Children, now we will learn about subtraction. First, we should subtract 27 from 48. In 48, there are 4 tens, 8 ones. In 27, there are 2 tens, 7 ones. First, we should subtract ones. From 8 ones, 7 ones are subtracted. 1 ones is remaining. Now, we should subtract tens. In 4 tens, 2 tens is subtracted. 2 tens is remaining. Now we should subtract the digits in the units place. They are 8 and 7. 8 minus 7 is equals to 1. Write 1 in units place. Next we should subtract the digits in the tens place. They are 4 and 2. 4 minus 2 is equals to 2. Write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 48 minus 27 is equals to 21. Now subtract 13 from 36. In 36, there are 3 tens, 6 ones. In 13, there are 1 ten, 3 units. First, we should subtract ones. From 6 ones, 3 ones are subtracted. 3 ones is remaining. Now we should subtract tens. In 3 tens, 1 ten is subtracted. 2 tens is remaining. Now we should subtract the digits in the units place. They are 6 and 3. 6 minus 3 is equals to 3. Write 3 in units place. Next we should subtract the digits in the tens place. They are 3 and 1. 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. Write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 36 minus 13 is equals to 23. Children, here we will consider one stick for the numbers in the units place and a bundle of 10 sticks for the numbers in the tens place. Now, subtract 23 from 48. First, we should write the numbers in the place value table according to the place of each digits. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 8 and 3. First, we have 8. So, we will draw 8 sticks. Next number is 3. So, we will cut 3 sticks. Now, how many sticks are remaining? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sticks are remaining. So, we will write 5 in units place. Now, we should subtract the digits in the tens place. They are 4 and 2. First number is 4. So we will put 4 bundles of 10 sticks. Next number is 2. So we will cut 2 bundles. Now how many bundles are remaining? 1, 2. 2 bundles are remaining. So we will write 2 in 10's place. Therefore 48 minus 23 is equals to 25. Children, now we should subtract 16 from 37. First we should write the numbers in the vertical column according to place of each digits. First we should subtract units place digits. They are 7 and 6. First we have 7. So we will draw 7 sticks. Next number is 6. So we will cut 6 sticks. Now how many sticks are remaining? One stick is remaining. So we will write one in units place. Children, now we should subtract the digits in the tens place. They are three and one. First we have three. So we will put three bundle of ten sticks. Next number is one. So we will cut one bundle. Now how many bundles are remaining? One, two. Two bundles are remaining. So, we will write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 37 minus 16 is equals to 21. Children, now we should subtract 53 from 75. First, we should write the numbers in the vertical column 
according to place of each digits. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 5 and 3. First, we have 5. So, we will draw 5 sticks. Next number is 3. So, we will cut 3 sticks. Now, how many sticks are remaining? 1, 2. 2 sticks are remaining. So, we will write 2 in units place. In the tens place, we have 7 and 5. First number is 7. So, we will put 7 bundles of 10 sticks. Next number is 5. So, we will cut 5 bundles. Now, how many bundles are remaining? 1, 2. 2 bundles are remaining. So, we will write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 75 minus 53 is equals to 22. Children, now we should subtract 24 from 65. First, we should write the numbers in the vertical column according to place of each digits. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 5 and 4. First, we have 5. So, we will draw 5 sticks. Next, we have 4. So, we will cut five, 4 sticks. Now, how many sticks are remaining? 1 stick is remaining. So, we will write 1 in units place. In the tens place, we have 6 and 2. First number is 6. So, we will put 6 bundles of 10 sticks. Next number is 2. So, we will cut 2 bundles. Now, how many bundles are remaining? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 bundles are remaining. So, we will write 4 in tens place. Therefore, 65 minus 24 is equals to 41. Children, here we will subtract numbers with the help of fingers. First, we should write the numbers in the vertical column according to place of each digits. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 9 and 5. First number is 9. So, we have 9 fingers. Next number is 5. So, we will cut 5 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, how many fingers are remaining? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 fingers are remaining. So, we will write 4 in ten units place. Now, we should subtract the digits in the tens place. They are 4 and 1. Here, first number is 4. So, we have 4 fingers. Next number is 1. So, we will cut 1 finger. Now, how many fingers are left out? 1, 2, 3. 3 fingers are left out. So, we will write 3 in tens place. Therefore, 49 minus 15 is equals to 34. Children, now we should subtract 36 from 57. First, we should write the numbers in the vertical column according to place of each digits. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 7 and 6. First number is 7. So, we have 7 fingers. Next number is 6. So, we will cut 6 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, how many fingers are remaining? 1 finger is remaining. So, we will write 1 in units place. Next, we should subtract tens place digits. They are 5 and 3. Here, first number is 5. So, we have 5 fingers. Next number is 3. So, we will cut 3 fingers. Now, how many fingers are left out? 1, 2. 2 fingers are left out. So, we will write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 57 minus 36 is equals to 21. Children, now we should subtract 26 from 46. First, we should write the numbers in the vertical column according to place of each digits. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 6 and 6. First number is 6. So, we have 6 fingers. Next number is 6. So, we will cut 6 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
Now, how many fingers are left out? No fingers are left out. So, we will write 0 in units place. Next, we should subtract the digits in the tens place. They are 4 and 2. Here, first number is 4. So, we have 4 fingers. Next number is 2. So, we will cut 2 fingers. Now, how many fingers are left out? 1, 2. 2 fingers are left out. So, we will write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 46 minus 26 is equals to 20. Children, now we will write fill in the blanks with appropriate number. Children, in this question we have 35 da minus dash is equals to 25. Here, what is the answer? Yes, 25 is the answer. Here the question is 35 and answer is 25. To get the answer, we should subtract 25 from 35. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 5 and 5. First number is 5. So, we will draw 5 lines. Next number is 5. So, we will cut 5 lines. Now, how many lines are remaining? No lines are remaining. So, we will write 0 in units place. Next, we should subtract tens place digits. They are 3 and 2. First number is 3. So, we will draw 3 lines. Next number is 2. So, we will cut 2 lines. Now, how many lines are remaining? Only one line is remaining. So, we will write 1 in tens place. Therefore, 35 minus 25 is equals to 10. So, the missing number is 10. Children, in the second question we have 18 minus 8 is equals to dash. What is 18 minus 8? To find the answer, we should subtract 8 from 18. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 8 and 8. First number is 8. So, we will draw 8 lines. Next number is 8. So, we will cut 8 lines. Now, how many lines are remaining? No lines are remaining. So, we will write 0 in units place. Next, we should subtract tens place digits. They are 1 and 0. First number is 1. So, we will draw 1 line. Next number is 0. So, we should not cut any lines. Now, how many lines are remaining? One line is remaining. So, we will write 1 in tens place. Therefore, 18 minus 8 is equals to 10. Children, in the next question we have dash minus 20 is equals to 50. Here, what is the answer? Yes, 50 is the answer. Here question is 20 and answer is 50. To find the missing number, we should add 50 to 20. First, we should add units place digits. They are 0 and 0. 0 plus 0 is equals to 0. Write 0 in units place. Next, we should add the digits in the tens place. They are 5 and 2. First number is 5. So, we will draw 5 lines. Next number is 2. So, we will draw 2 more lines. Now, how many lines are there? Let us count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Totally 7 lines are there. So, we will write 7 in tens place. Therefore, 50 plus 20 is equals to 70. So, the missing number is 70. Children, in the last question we have 76 minus dash is equals to 50. Here, what is the answer? Yes, 50 is the answer. Here the question is 76 and answer is 50. To get the answer, we should subtract 50 from 76. First, we should subtract units place digits. They are 6 and 0. First number is 6. So, we will draw 6 lines. Next number is 0. So, we should not cut any lines. Now, how many lines are remaining? 
6 lines are remaining. So we will write 6 in units place. Next we should subtract tens place digits. They are 7 and 5. Here first number is 7. So we will draw 7 lines. Next number is 5. So we will cut 5 lines. Now how many lines are remaining? 1, 2, 2 lines are remaining. So we will write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 76 minus 50 is equals to 26. So, the missing number is 26. Children, now we should solve word problems. First, we should read the question. In a class of 38 students, 16 students walk to school and others come on bicycle. How many students are coming on bicycle? First, we should write Totally how many students are there in the class? How many students are there in the class? Total number of students in the class is 38. How many students come by walk? Number of students who come by walk is 16. Now we should find out number of students who come by bicycle. First we should subtract units plus digits. They are 8 and 6. 8 minus 6 is equals to 2. Write 2 in units place. Next we should subtract tens place digits. They are 3 and 1. 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. Write 2 in tens place. Therefore number of students who come by bicycle is 22. Children now we will solve the second one. First we should read the question. A florist had 39 roses. He sold 18 roses. How many roses remain with him? Here we should find out how many roses remain with florist. First we should write totally how many roses with him. How many roses are there? Total number of roses florist has is 39. Next we should write how many roses sold? Number of roses sold by florist is 18. First we should subtract units plus digits. They are 9 and 8. 9 minus 8 is equals to 1. Write 1 in units place. Next we should subtract tens plus digits. They are 3 and 1. 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. Write 2 in tens place. Therefore, 39 minus 18 is equals to 21. The remaining roses with him is 21. Children, copy all the sums from video to classwork and do this homework. Subtract the following and complete the textbook page number 111, 112 and 113 and complete the table.